Long live Bino. Whoa, what? What's up? This Q Gambino, man. We always locked in with the streets 993. You dig? Welcome to Streets 993, your choice for hip-hop and R&B. I am your host, Adriana the Personality. Today we have a artist originally from Brooklyn, New York, hustling down here in the South. We have Q Gambino in the streets today, y'all. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, man. What's up, man? Whoa, I, I, what? <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm feeling good, man. I'm loving the city, man. Please, please. Look, we're excited to have you here. Please introduce yourself and do the honors and tell the streets who you are. Man, definitely, man. It's Double M Zone, Brooklyn Zone, Bohem Block Zone, Q Gambino, man. Representing the streets. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, y'all, first of all, before we get into anything, this man <laughs> has his own own exclusive lemonade super exclusive Bino's lemonade i can't wait to try it i don't want to be smacking during the interview so i ain't gonna tap into it to get out of this <laughs> but if you haven't already checked it out go check it out i'm excited black owned businesses i always support so go check them out go check them out go check them out uh so getting straight into it first of all tell us uh how long you've been doing music and um what's so uh significant about your artistry um, we've been running probably about four and a half, almost five years. Okay. And uh, the difference with us is that we're going city to city. Like, we're not waiting for a label. We're not waiting for this imaginary push behind us, man. We're going out there to the fans, the people, and we're really touching them. You know what I mean? So our grind is all about motivation and just mm -hmm. hitting the streets and giving them the real. That's you know? what's so. up. That's what's, I love it. I love it. Not waiting on nobody. Just going out there and taking it. Uh, let me ask you something. Are you a fan of your own music? Nah, definitely, man. I, I really don't listen to music like that since I've been, like, doing music. I, how many, I'm going to say, how many times a day do you do you listen to your music only? Oh, all day. All day. Okay, <laughs> all okay. Because, you know, I ask this question to some um artists, and they're like, yeah, I'm a fan of my music, but you don't listen to it. So how are you a fan? How can you expect somebody else to listen to it? So long as you tap into your own music, that is key Not nah, definitely. To me. Like, like, on the road. They be mad because you might hear 10 hours of straight Beano <laughs> on repeat that's, just but running. But that's what it's supposed to be. That's yeah, you got to feel that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so March 19th, you gave us For the Dreamers. Tell us how this project came about. Um, Man, we're we working on the album right now, Long Live Beano. And uh, we've been working so hard, man. I feel like we ain't really put out no music, you know what I mean? Because yeah. we just so locked in. Mm-hmm. So we're just like, man, let's just give them something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We just wind up putting out, you know, just a couple dope records and giving it. And they've been going crazy, man. I ain't going to lie. They've been going crazy. So Yeah. The six, yo, so this out, this EP has six songs, y'all. It's 17 minutes. It has three features, one being my guy Eastwood. Shout out to him. Oh, shout How out How do you pick features for your projects, man? It, it, I got to be a fan. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a big fan of the whole Master P No Limit. Shout out my guy Crazy. And, uh, of course, I got AMN Day. Shout out to her. You know what I mean? That's my brody. So we always working together. So she on A project. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, man, whoever I'm a fan of, man, if I like their music, I got to work with them. Like, I got to lock in with them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what's up. So it's not really not, not a hard process. Like, if, if you tune in, you tapped in, they pretty much got a feature coming with it if they down. Nah, definitely. Like, I, I gotta, I, like I'm a fan. So, like, I can make a record. We be sitting there listening. I be like, Oh, I hear this person on there. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, all right, we gotta go get them. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, tell us the meaning behind your EP. You know, the title, "The Dreamer" for the dreamers. For the dreamers. Excuse me. Tell us the meaning behind that um, title. Man, so like my music is all about motivation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's all about giving inspiration to the people that's from the bottom. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because that's where we from. So for the dreamers, man, just the six songs, man. You go through each little. Each record, and you get a different feeling. Emotion, but yeah. It's definitely, like, inspiration in, in every aspect. You know what I'm saying? Just wanting more out of life. Yeah. The success feeling, the chasing it, and just coming from that trench feeling. You know yeah. what I mean? That's special. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? We out there. The streets need that kind of music, for, for sure. Real. So, you have been working heavily on your promo tours, like you mentioned earlier. Now, the world mm -hmm. is finally opening back up. Uh, what's excited. that process like for you, you know, creating your own city to city promo? Man, it's, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's hard. It's my first one mm -hmm. and it's just it's so much work, man. But I think when you, when you passionate about something, you just gonna love it. You know yeah. what I mean? Every aspect. So yeah. we having fun, even with the struggle of yeah. trying to reach out to a thousand people and 
man, it's fun because we just look and we laugh about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we, I love it. What they say, when you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. For so. real. Like, that, that's honestly true, man. <laughs> it works. It works. Uh, tell us, you know, what's next for Bino? What can we, like I said, now that the world is open back up, where where can we catch you and what can we expect for the uh, next following months? I mean, right right now we're working on Long Live Bino. That okay. probably dropped the next four or five months. Okay. Uh, AM and Days just dropped. We're not the same. Go check that out. Uh, my cameraman Los, everybody know Los. Los working on a short film right now, and then we got the beverages out right now. So we, man, we just running. You know just, what I'm saying? I mean, I love all the. Bi- I think co- if COVID didn't do nothing else, it definitely made some hustlers out of us. Cause yeah. you know, having to figure out what you're gonna do waiting on this government, I don't know. I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they got going on. So I'm, I'm excited. I love, like I said, I'm a big advocate for uh, black-owned businesses. So I love to see. Uh, you have a team. And I think that's what um, artists these days need to understand that you can't do it alone. So yeah. get you a good team um, and, and, and and go with it. Yeah, that, definitely, man. That That's one of the big things is I definitely, you know, my camera with me all everywhere we go. You know what I'm saying? I just, we just always moving, always working and mm-hmm. just always motivating. You know what I mean? Tell us, tell us where you see yourself in the next five years. Next five years? Uh, still independent. Um, I think I'm going to follow that way throughout my whole career. Mm-hmm. And really it's just trying to make everybody around me set. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's my goal. Um, still doing the tours. So, you know what I mean? Just pushing. Yeah, you know what just, I'm saying? just so. new, newer heights, higher levels. Just higher heights. I love it. I love it. You know, Vino, we thank you so much for your time here at Streets 993. Man. We always like to host a space for our guests to manifest and affirm things for themselves. So in the next six months, Give us two things you would like to call in for yourself. And it has to be miracle size things. It can't be you just be no little, oh, I go do this, go do that. It has to be miracles. Because when it happened, you're going to come back to this interview and be like, I spoke it on the street. So tell us two things. Yeah. Uh, next week, six months, we're definitely looking at an international tour. Okay. We're going to be out there in London for two weeks. And then the second part, man, is trying to get a distribution deal mm-hmm. and still being independent. You know what I mean? So okay. that's how we looking at it. Okay. Uh, international tour and distribution deal. Let us know how we can keep up with you on all social media platforms and how we can continue to stream your music. Uh, check me out, man. Q-U-E-G-A-M-B-I-N-O on IG, man. We going crazy. Um, Double M Beverages. That's the drink page, man. Go check it out. We got the site up right now. Um, mm-hmm. All streaming platforms, man. Q Gambino. Mm-hmm. Check out AMN Days. She working. My man Lowe's got the best visuals in the city, in the state, in the country. You know what I mean? So holla at us, man. We out here. Y'all, that was Q Gambino on the street. Ah. 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 Ah.